Hey, everybody. Welcome to EFT Tapping for Body Image. So one of the biggest problems that people have when they're trying to enjoy their partners, when they're trying to be sexual, when they're trying to be erotic, when they're trying to go buy clothing is the way that we look at our bodies. So if you stand in front of a mirror, you'll probably notice that most often our eyes go first to the place that we dislike about ourselves the most. So notice what that is for you. And I want you to write that down. So before we start tapping, ah, you can't wiggle too much. <laughs> all right. So now, you know, the body part that you're working with, and I want you to really understand what is it? What do you feel when you look at it? Do you feel disgust, shame, guilt, we feel um, uh, unsexy, right? I mean, that's not quite an emotion, but maybe what you're working with is something that uh, is deeper than an emotion, right? I mean, we want emotion in the EFT tapping as much as much as we can, right? Because it's emotional freedom techniques, right? That's That's what we're talking about. So we want the emotion as strong as we can, but sometimes not feeling sexy can be the emotion, right? I don't feel sexy. Well, what does that mean? So you can either use, I feel unsexy, and that kind of turns it into emotion, or underneath that unsexy might be, I'm unloved, I'm unworthy, I'm not powerful. Okay. So look at what that is. So let's, so go ahead and write down, what's your emotion? What's the body part? What's the emotion that you're feeling when you look at that body part? Okay. And then if you feel it in your body somewhere else in that body part, we're also going to add that, but just for simplicity today, we're just going to do the emotion and the body part. So even though when I look at my stomach I feel kind of disgusted, but I'm open to letting this go. And you can just repeat after me. You can use your own body part or you can use mine. Even though when I look in the mirror at my stomach, and I see all those wrinkles in the flab. I feel disgusted about myself. And I accept I feel this way. So even though, when I look in the mirror at my stomach, I feel disgusted. Who would want to touch me? They must think I'm disgusting too. And I accept I feel this way. Great. Top of the head. Feeling disgusted. 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 Mm, take a breath. And now notice the level. How are you still disgusted or whatever your word was? How, how strong is it? Has it shifted? It should have gone down, right? Sometimes it might go up a little bit, but then just focus back in. We're going to keep tapping until it goes down. We want to get this down so it's neutral. So you can look at it and be like, that's okay. I accept myself. All right. And this may be a little more complicated. Like you may have to start tapping on the time your mom told you you were too fat and you should suck in your belly, right? So you may have to work other situations that gave you this idea that your belly was disgusting, for example, right? Or that you're too fat or that you're not thin enough or you're too thin or whatever. Something's too narrow, too wide, whatever it is for you. Okay. So write down where you're at now. We're going to do another round. So even though I feel sad when I look at my stomach, I wish it was more flat. I'm open to letting this go. So even though I feel sad when I look at my stomach, I wish it was more flat, like when I was a teenager, but I accept I feel this way. And even though I feel sad when I look at my stomach, I wish it was more flat. I accept myself anyway. Feeling sad. 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 
feeling sad. All right. So thinking about your body part again, maybe you need to go look at it in the mirror again. Notice, what do you feel about it now? Notice if that's changed, how intense it is. And we want to stay really specific to one body part at a time. If we're trying to do our whole body, it's not going to work. So let's tap on the one spot at a time. And remember, you're doing this so you can feel more confident in your own body. So you can bring a powerful, strong energy into your relationship, into the bedroom, into your work, into whatever it is that helps you feel confident and strong and powerful. Okay. So one more round. And remember, you can rewind this and do it as many times as you want. Side of the hand, even though I'm feeling, hmm, what am I feeling right now? I'm making stuff up. <laughs> even though I'm feeling unattractive. When I look at my stomach in the mirror, I'm open to letting this go. And even though I feel unattractive, when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm open to letting this go. And even though I'm feeling unattractive, when I look at my stomach in the mirror, I screwed up last time, <laughs> I'm open to letting this go. Feeling unattractive. 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 All right. So take a breath. And remember, you can repeat this as many times as you want. So you can rewind this tapping video. Use it with different parts of your body. Because your goal is to feel confident and strong. You deserve to feel confident and strong. Remember that you're loved, you're loving, and you're lovable. No matter what society is trying to put on us about our bodies, no matter what people have said in the past, no matter what was modeled for you when you were young, you get to own your power. Namaste. Namaste.